It was definitely a tale of two halves. Um, the first half, um, they just kicked us uh, in every category. Um, and at halftime, we just talked about games that we've been in before and that we have an opportunity to change what we need to do. We made adjustments defensively. Um, and then obviously on the offensive end, being able to rebound and run got us going. And then we were able to knock down outside shots. Ashley and Nick hit some big, big shots for us. And then we made free throws, which is always big. So this was a huge win. I use a very, very good basketball team. They have three 1,000-point scorers. So uh, whenever you play against uh, teams like that, you know they can score the ball. But our defense prevailed. We wanted to keep them to 60, and we did. Coach came in during halftime and, and you know, she gave us a choice, uh, go home or, or come out and win or come come out and uh, have some pride on defense, you know, Purdue's known for defense. And in that first half, we we had very little. So I, I think that, that that's that's a big reason uh, everybody responded. Well, in the second half, we switched to switching one through four, and that just helped us stop the penetration more than when we were just um, not switching. I don't know why, but it was a big help for us. And that just helped get our energy up because we know like we're going to stop them because we're switching one through four, and there's no reason to get beat. Right here? Just go ahead. Sharon, you were searching so pretty. We're, we're going to stay with the students, and then we'll get to Sharon. Sorry. Um, Nick, you got going pretty early. Just do you, do you feel pretty good? Yeah, I feel pretty good. But, um, it was just I didn't want to go home, so I just was going. Questions for the students? Yeah, Mike. You know, it says a lot about her maturity, um, pressure, pressure situations. You know, she stepped up and she hit big ones for us. And I think that she's she's done that all year. You know, I think she's been in a little tad bit of a slump, but I think that she's definitely come out of it with this game. Uh, all right, now we'll open it up for a Coach or the students. Back in the back. Yeah. For both you guys, what does it feel like to have – a deficit going into halftime and coming back and winning. Ashley? It just says a lot about this team's character, you know, um, how we believe in each other, how we believe in the coaches and the coaching staff and their deep and their um, scout. And, you know, we just wanted to implement what Coach V said. She said switch one through four, so we switched one through four, and it, and it definitely disrupted them on offense. Dominique? Um, going into halftime, losing by so much, it it's like you think you look at yourself and you're like we shouldn't be in this situation because we know we're better than this, and that's why when we, when we came out the second half, we played like we did because we knew we were better than we played in the second half, the first half. Questions, right here. Yeah, first half we played one defense, two three, played man. Uh, they kept uh, getting the edge on us, um, being able to penetrate going right. Um, all their all their offenses are set up that way to set up their shooters on the other side of the floor. So um, in the second half, you switch one through four, then you don't let them get the edge. You keep them out of the paint. Um, and then you're not helping. You you don't have to help as much because you're not hedging, getting over top. A post has to be able to find their player. So, um, but our kids just believed in it and did a fantastic job doing it. Um, I thought Nora Kiesler played amazing tonight. She was a big key to our success, uh, being able to, um, you know, guard Jen Anderson down there. She's the only one that can match up. I thought she did a fantastic job. Uh, she's a great communicator, brings great energy, and um, she really helped with our defensive stops during that time as well. Kind of a follow-up to that. Were you just searching for someone to be, be a force down low to, tonight? 
we were searching for anybody on offense, uh, <laughs> anybody at the time, because our first half was sluggish. Um, I knew if we could play defense, we'd be okay. Um, if we played defense, we were going to be able to run, get some momentum going, and then our kids' energy level would go up, and that's what helped our defense. Our defense helped our offense, and then our offense getting up and down. And, you know, when uh, Anderson came out, we put our smaller post in um, and then put Nora back in. I thought our staff did a good job of rotating, um, coaching the game down the wire. I think that's very, very important. But kids, kids are the ones that play the game. They've got to execute it. They executed it. They believed in it, like, you know, Ashley said. And for us to have only six turnovers um, and them to shoot seven for 32 in the second half and have 11 turnovers, that was the game. Back in the back. Coach, from a coach's standpoint, how proud are you of this team right now that you know they took into consideration what you told them during halftime and just ran with it and were able to come out with this huge win? Well, we've been doing that our last six games. We've been we kind of been on a roll. We feel we've been playing great basketball. Um, this group, it's it's about their character. It's about their heart and grit. And I think you know when you believe when you believe in the process, and this group has, and it's it starts with Ashley. And she's believed in the process from the get-go. Then everybody's going to follow, and that's and that's how you have good basketball teams. And I've never been so proud of this group being 21 get, 21 wins already and being in the top four of the Big Ten. Uh, this was just a nice way to way to end the day.